So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create modern interactive videos in 2020 and beyond. And two years ago, I actually created a similar video wherein I talked about how to make modern interactive videos. But since that was already two years ago, it's no longer that modern. And so today, I'm going to make an updated one. Stay tuned. So in order for you to create interactive videos, the best tool that you can use to do so is Interactor. Make your decision. What you want to know? <laughs> Mac or PC? Choose your player. Photo or video? And I also tried some other apps in the past and there's a lot of you know, smart video players and whatnot out there, but this is actually the best one that I ever tried. And like I said, I already reviewed this app two years ago, and last year I also made a demo of the local version, which is the Interactor Local. And today they updated the app and they redesigned the app and they also added new features. And for you to start, all you have to do is click New Project, and you have different options here. You can start from scratch. Or you can use some templates that they have right here and if you got the app cell you also have more templates that you can see right here they also have this generic templates plus the interactor local that I also reviewed last year but right now let me just create things from scratch so that I will be able to demonstrate to you the different features that this app has although I will also add the video demo of Ryan Phillips below by the way, Ryan Phillips is the developer of this app, and so if you're watching this on my blog, you can see that video demo below as well. But if you're watching this on YouTube, just click that link that you can see in the description below, and you will be taken to my blog and check out that other demo as well. But right now, let me just do my own demo, so let me just click Create Blank Project, and let me just name this as Laptop Video Interactive. There we go and of course we can also add a description but for now let me just add this one and then i can add it in a folder although right now i don't have to do that and let me just click create and i want to do this demo because i myself is actually looking for a brand new laptop that i can use for my projects especially for video editing and of course this desktop that i'm using is still good although it's still great to have a laptop so that if i will travel or go to other places then i can still do my projects right and I'm actually choosing between Mac or PC and I had my MacBooks in the past but the first one got stolen and then for the second one my daughter you know poured some water on it while I was sleeping and unfortunately when I brought it to a repair shop it's already beyond repair so I don't know if I will still choose Mac but yep I'm choosing between Mac and PC and so let's try to create that kind of interactive video here like in the beginning let's play an interactivity wherein you can choose between Mac and PC and that will lead you to the video showing showing a laptop MacBook and then the other will bring you to the to another video that brings you to a PC laptop video so to continue let me just click upload new video and again you have different options here if you shot your own video or you recorded your own video you can just click here to upload that Although you can actually just use a URL like a YouTube video or a Vimeo video and that's what I like about this one because you don't have to use your own video actually. You can just use you know someone else's video and create amazing interactive videos. You can also add stock video which is great. Let me actually try this. And yep it's amazing that they also have a collection of their own stock videos and this feature is not here before but I'm glad that they added this video so for example we can look for people and as you can see we have a bunch of stock videos that we can use from here although let me just close this for now because it's not what I'm going to do right now or if you already uploaded some videos in the past you can just go here to the media library and check out your videos although I don't have one so it's not showing anything 
but for now i just want to use youtube video so let me choose add video from url and here's a video i found on youtube that's comparing a mac and pc laptop so let me just use that as my starting video so let me just copy the url here and then paste it here click add and it's still encoding the videos after that i also need to grab one video for macbook laptop and another one for windows and these are videos that i found so let me add them here as well so upload new video paste it here click add here we go and then let's add this other video here as well so there we go and as you can see we have three videos here this video number one is the starting video which will be asked whether you will choose mac or pc and then here's another one that talks about a macbook laptop and this one is for a windows laptop and so for us to create our interactivity let's drag and drop this very first starting video there we go and we also need to grab our macbook video and then the windows video and so for us to create the interactivity we need to double click the very first video and then here i can play the video and i mute the video so that it will not go with my voice but you know you can just choose when you wanted the, the interactivity to start but as you can see we have different ways to add interactivity to our video we can add a hotspot which is basically an invisible button so if within your video you already you know added some buttons or elements beforehand then what you can do is go here and add a hotspot for example if you want to add right here and you can name the hotspot if you want and then you just click next and you can choose to post the video when shown and it's up to you if you want to enable this and then on click let's say play node and then when you click done you know you can just position this wherever you want like i said if you added a graphics here beforehand you can just add a hotspot in that particular element so that when they click that they will do the interactivity that you set up here like for example if you want them to go to video number two which talks about macbook then that will happen but for this one because it's not our video and we did not prepare our graphics beforehand we cannot use a hotspot so let me delete this one for now and let's check on these other elements as well so for the button maybe i can name this as macbook and then click next and then I, I will create a new button from scratch and i can resize this and then double click to edit the text so i can say macbook and of course i can increase the font size make it bigger make it bold if i want there we go click next and then when they click that it will play node and for the node let's choose video number two and by the way it's a great idea to name your videos so that if you will select them as node it will be easy to find them here but since this is just a simple interactivity i know what they are so i know that video number two is the mac so i can choose pause when video is shown click done and i can position this somewhere like for example in maybe at this part of the video he mentioned about okay uh, you can choose between mac and pc something like that this button will be shown so i can position it maybe somewhere here and so let's add another button right here as well we can name this windows or pc and i can copy what i did previously which is the macbook and then i can just double click and rename this to windows click next for this one i can play video number three click done and then i can position it somewhere here so that's how to add a button and then as you can see we also have some other elements here like text if you want to add a simple text right there that's clickable and dynamic text is if you want to add some personalization which is also a great feature like if you want to add the name of the person so that you can say hey cham check uh would you like to choose mac versus pc something like that this is something that you can use you can also add an email a custom html and an image and then you can also add a pop-up like an email form or something and this is something that i will show you later on as well but that's how to set up the very first interactivity so let's go back and then right now for these two videos probably towards the end or towards somewhere in the middle 
I can add an email that says, okay, if you want to learn more about the MacBook laptop, then just enter your email address and I will send you a list of products in this category, something like that, you know. So I can do that by double clicking here. And for this one, we can add a pop up, click next, create a new model one from our templates. And as you can see, they've got different templates here that you can choose from. You can add an email order for this product, for example. Normally, you will just add a button so that they will go ahead and purchase that product. But just for the sake of this demo, let me just show you how to add this email pop-up right here. So let me click select. And there we go. And I can also edit the text right here. You know, I can just add any text that I want, like send me more details in my email something like that you know so you can modify this if you want so that's how easy it is to add an email pop up so there we go and again let's go back so that for the next one i will show you how to add a buy now button as well so for this one let's again add a pop up click next and then let's just choose a template and probably let's choose this one and again you can change the text you can add a coupon code so that if you're in the e-commerce industry and you're selling this laptop you can add your discount coupon code right here and then you can just change this if you want and you know they can purchase the product directly from your interactive video and again you can just align this where you want it to appear probably somewhere here or so and there you go so that's how easy it is to set up an interactive video and like i said i already did a demo of this two years ago plus i did another one last year as well and i'll probably add those videos as well below and so let's check out some of these projects that i had in the past so for example for this real estate interactive i can select this and let's preview this project and this was actually created from a template so if i play this one and after that i as you can see it showed this two choices right here so for example if I'm looking to buy I click I can click here and after that as you can see this pop-up email appeared and the client can then add their email address so you can you know contact them and give them more details about the property that they are planning to buy you know so as you can see those are great and one of the new features that they added here is the interactive element animations. Like for example, if we choose one of these, like photography, for example, let's click select. And if I preview this project, as you can see what happened there is that there's an animation that happened when this interactive elements appeared. And of course you can modify each of these elements if you want but as you can see these are great you know templates that you can simply use and this is something that's not available in the version that i reviewed two years ago and it's a great idea that they now added this as well and like i said there's another video of ryan phillips below that you can watch to check out some more features of this app but Judging from this one, I can say that it's really amazing and I highly recommend it. You know, when I was researching for video marketing stats in 2020, this is one thing that I found. And so as you can see here, it says that interactive video is used by only 2% of marketers. That means that, you know, there are still a few marketers out there who are taking advantage of this feature. Uh, but it says that 83% of marketers see successful results in using this one and then 43 percent of businesses plan on using interactive videos in the future and then stats shows that 90 percent of interactive videos get viewed until the end or have completion rates which is really amazing and this is hard to achieve with the normal flat videos usually it you know people will just start a few seconds and then a minute and then most of them will just stop watching until the end but using interactive videos, you will have 90% completion rate, which is just amazing. And that's why I highly recommend that you take advantage of using Interactor to create interactive videos for your business or for your clients. And I highly recommend this app. And so if you find this useful and you want to use it for your business as well, 
or you want to use it to provide as a service to clients then just click the button that you can see below and that will be my link and if you grab this through my link as always i will give you amazing exclusive bonuses and you can just see those bonuses right below this video on this page and that is if you're watching this on my blog if you're watching this on youtube just click the link that you can see in the description below and you will be taken to my blog and check out those bonuses so yeah thanks a lot for watching and i hope that you learned something from this video and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel make sure to do so and make sure to click that notification bell as well so that you will be notified whenever i create amazing videos like this one also you can just like this video and you can also add your comment and you can just say anything that you want to say about creating interactive videos so again thanks a lot for watching my name is cham and i'll talk to you soon bye for now